It's when are the Minnesota Republicans in the Senate and the House going to get serious? You know, here they bring in Governor Jeb Bush after break, and we have only so many days till session is over, and it's a distraction. You know, they need to focus on getting their bills done and getting session done. Instead, we have a governor here from another state who is trying to hold up an example of what to do in education that's a bad example. Um, as you know, I'm, I'm Nora Slawick, state representative from Maplewood, and I work on early education issues. Florida passed a voluntary pre-kindergarten referendum and then the legislature passed some money to fund it. But there's two issues with it. One, it is not adequately funded. And two, it is does not have any quality uh, that's built into it. So there, the, the, uh, how um, quality the programs are, how um, what is being offered is not clear. And that's something we've been working on here in Minnesota that you might know the Minnesota Republicans cut out of the Senate and House bill the quality rating system. That's a rating system for child cares from one star to five stars that, that lets parents and consumers make decisions about where the kids send their kids to school. So here we might want to hold up Florida as an example of good early childhood education, but what Minnesota Republicans are doing is they've just cut anything related to the quality rating system out of their bills. So it's not making sense. It's holding up one example and doing something else. Um, also with the, the um, voluntary pre-kindergarten, uh, it, sure, Florida has it, but have the Republicans in Minnesota proposed that? Have they proposed funding all day kindergarten? No. So they need to take a look at how are we going to close achievement gap here, that the best reform really is early childhood education, and we know we have one of the worst achievement gaps in the country, and we need solutions, not uh, governors who are going to come in and tell us what to do from other states.